Hello, and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to be looking at Sarah Brightman's Meadowlark from the album Songs That Got Away. This is an album that uh, I used to listen to consistently when I was um, much younger. Um, and this album came out, I believe, right after Christine Daae, the fan of the opera, when she did that role. She did this one, this particular album, and this is one that I would just play almost on repeat on my CD player um, as I was in college. And this song here is always the one that I would go to because it's just an amazing song. It has a really great story. And again, it, she, she shows off the things that make her really good at what she does. And so I'm going to just get started with this and then we'll stop um, every once in a while so that we can talk a little bit about the things that she do, does in this song that are just amazing. So with that, let's begin. a girl, I have a favorite story of the meadowlark who lived where the rivers wide. Her voice could match the angels in its glory, but she was blind. The lark was blind, and old king came and took her to his palace, where the walls were burnished bronze and golden gray. And he fed her fruit and nuts from an ivory chalice, and he prayed, sing for me, my meadowlark, sing for me on the silver morning, set me free, my meadowlark, and I'll buy your priceless jewel, and cloth of brocade and cruel. So I'm going to stop there. Um, if you remember in the verse that she talks about the king, there is a different tone and a different color that she gave to all the, the words. So here when she's talking about um, the, the God of the sun and she's using a flatter tone, she's using a, 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 a rougher tone because the, the God of the sun was described as rough, right? And so I, those sorts of color choices that are really nice, I mean, she's using that as an analysis piece to, to really bring out the differences between the two stories, the, the King who just wanted to hear her sing and the God of the sun who wanted to f have her fly and enjoy all of the flight and stuff like this. And, and the differences between those two different environments. And so um, again, the tone that she brings out, brings it out um, in the song. But the meadowlark said no, for the old king loved her so. She couldn't bear to wound his pride. So the sun god flew away, and when the king came down that day, he found his meadowlark had died. Every time I have that heart, I cry. Starry-eyed and stormy Oh, just when I thought my heart was finally numb A beautiful young man appears before me Singing, come Oh, won't 
It's very interesting. I, I, I've i listened to Sarah Brightman a million, million times as Christine Daae, and I've listened to the song a lot. When I was, I mean, again, it was almost 30 years ago, but I listened to the song a lot, and I never really heard what I'm hearing now. And, and please take me to task in the comments on this one, but I'm hearing little snippets of Julie Andrews in her her tone quality when she goes into full musical theater mode. And so if I'm wrong, please just let me know if I'm right or if you're hearing the same thing, let me know because during the course of this song, I just sat there and I'm like, I this sounds familiar to me and who is this? And and it suddenly dawned on me that it's it sounds like she she has the same tone quality as Julie Andrews in her musical theater notes. Anyway, I could be crazy. I've been called worse. So, let's keep going. Please won't find me. I know I'll leave wounds behind me, but I won't let tomorrow find me back this way. Before my pause once again and blind me. listen to the ending again again i'm i am loving her straight tone i i i I never listened for it before but her straight tone is just amazing in this last part here it's just beautiful um so i'm going to play that ending again because i really really enjoyed that um wow um yeah there's a killer piccolo um that shot me in the ear there i apologize for that on their behalf forgot about that whoops no let's go back a little bit further there we go I'm going to leave it go at that. Um, let me know how you feel about this song in the comments. Um, again, I was pleasantly surprised by her straight tone belting ability. Um, but now I look to you guys to talk a little bit about this particular song. And uh, I'm going to leave it go there. And I hope you guys are always enjoying your days, your nights, your weekends, wherever you are in space and time. And uh, as always, be safe. Be safe.